Hey, and welcome back to Wrench. On today's episode, we are going to continue to work on the rear of the car. So, welcome to part nine of the Blasphemy build. Um, it's been really super fun so far, putting all this together. And uh, I'm getting close. I'm getting close to being able to weld. I'm hoping that today, if all goes well, I can actually weld a couple of panels on. Uh, I've done a couple of things since I've last seen you. So I had this kidney piece that I wanted to fit, but obviously in the rocker panel area, I had a lot of cleaning up and some patch panels to make. Uh, I couldn't do any of that stuff until A, I cleaned up some of the metal and B, I got rid of the uh, lead filler. So this whole car is assembled with lead filler. They don't use uh, Bondo in 1969. It didn't, I don't know if it ex existed, but uh, lead filler is the thing. So while we were away, I took a propane torch and I melted off the lead filler. In fact, this is what it looks like, this craziness. So I just put this board underneath. I did it really easily. It was like with a, uh, just a regular propane torch and uh, I used a little spudger, which was basically a um, uh, paint stirring stick and heated up and moved it off of there and, and uh, it worked great. Uh, since then, I've hit it with a wire brush and then today I used this rust converter, which is essentially muriatic acid to get rid of any final bits of lead. Uh, I'll clean the thing up and hopefully it'll be ready to weld. What I'm doing today is continuing to fit this panel, which is the inner part of the rear of the car and I couldn't fit the whole thing on there with both motor mounts. So I drilled out these spot welds on this side. So now it fits fine. The problem is I still need to remove a bunch of the eighth inch thick steel plate that the previous uh, race car guy had installed on this because this won't fit over those plates. So I've got to get rid of those, much to the chagrin of my neighbors. So I have to do a ton of grinding today. What I've done is I've just gone to Harbor Freight and picked up a whole bunch of 36 grit discs. I'm hoping that these things just make short work of the welds and then I can kind of pry off the uh, steel plate. So that's kind of what I'm going to be working on for the first part of this. If that all goes well, I will fit this rear panel and then go back to working on this kidney panel, maybe make a patch panel or two and see if I can get some final bits welded on this car. Well, that didn't go quite as well as I had hoped. Now, trying to remove this, this is big old eighth inch steel plate from the chassis, as you can see, made quite a mess of the sheet metal. And I was hoping to not have to deal with any of this and that it was gonna leave the, the underneath really intact. It did not at all. So I've got kind of a best case scenario and a worst case scenario. The best case scenario is I can weld these giant gaping holes up right now and it's relatively patched and then I can, you know, obviously uh, clean it up and then put this interior piece on. The downside is I still don't have any uh, gas for my welder. It's a little difficult to get at the moment. And so I'm using flux, which is hotter and thus not quite the way to go when it comes to um, trying to weld really, really thin sheet metal. So I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna give it my best shot. If it doesn't work out, then I can either make a patch panel and replace you know, a whole chunk, which is not the end of the world. I could totally do that. Um, this would be a relatively easy one to make. Or um, wait till I get gas, but I really don't wanna wait. I really wanna get this thing buttoned up. So let's give it a go. Let's try, a, try our hand at some welding and see how it goes.
All right, I've got a couple of holes to patch yet, but it actually turned out really well. I mean, there was a huge gap here and down here. Uh, I still have to fill this in a little bit and there's a spot on the bottom. Then I'm gonna grind um, really lightly, take the really high stuff off and kind of see where I am. So it's much better. I mean, I mean, obviously it had huge holes. Wouldn't call it the prettiest thing in the world, but you got to remember that this thing isn't seen, you know? This is just underneath this piece. And for that purpose, I think it's totally fine. I think it's going to be great. Um, I may have to shave it down just a little bit more to get a proper purchase on these uh, motor mounts, but I think it's pretty good. There's also an outside chance that um, I don't use those motor mounts, so I might want to clean this up a little better, but uh, for now, it is, uh, I think it's gonna be fine. So I'm having a hard time getting this piece to fit as is on the rear of the car. So what I'm gonna have to do is remove some of these extraneous pieces, and to do that, I'm gonna use a spot weld drill bit or a spot weld cutter. Uh, if you don't know what a spot weld is, think of it almost like a staple between two pieces of metal. So you've got a piece of metal, another piece of metal, and then this thing that comes in that's kind of like a pincher, and it goes and it fuses the two panels together, dot after dot after dot. So you can see it here. I'm not sure if this will show up, but these are all spot welds. And they were spot welds for this piece. What I need to do is take these little outriggers off, and there's only four spot welds per. I picked up this kit, which is a spot weld cutter kit from Amazon. This is the best one I've ever used. Uh, I will link it up in the description below if you wanna check it out. Basically how it works, it's got a little pilot drill bit. That centers the cutter. You wanna put the pilot right on the weld, and then the cutter itself, which is super sharp, uh, goes around the spot weld. So you're basically cutting the good metal that's around the pinched spot weld. So what I need to do on this is, there's about four of them per. There's one, two, three, four, and then another four on the other side. Um, I don't know if I really need it for this, but I am using this stick lube, Rota brooch, also from Amazon. People recommended it, oops. And I'm just kind of gooping it on like this. And then I get to cutting. So that's what we got. Oh, all right. So this thing's relatively intact. I just have to hit it with a little hammer and dolly and it'll be fine. Same thing with this piece. And uh, let's go see if this thing will fit now. Because my rear panel is giving me a little bit of trouble, I thought I'd go for kind of an easy win today. Uh, to be fair, I don't know how easy it's going to be, but as I just mentioned, I need to make a couple of rust repair panels for that uh, outer rocker. So what I've got here is a piece of cardboard, and I've showed you the rocker. Obviously, it's full of rot. I melted the lead away, as you saw, and now I need to make a metal template for uh, the weld-in panel. Now, I have an old Porsche door that I use for all of my, my metal replacement, if it's kind of small patch panels. Um, I just cut the chunk off the door. I don't know why. I probably could use regular one millimeter steel, but there's something about using period correct uh, metal that, that seems, I don't know, appropriate to me. So what I gotta do here is, first I'm gonna cut out the, um, uh, the spot welds using that really great spot weld cutter I showed you earlier. Then I need to basically, and I probably should do this beforehand, but so I need to make a cardboard template of exactly the patch panel. My goal is to retain as much of the factory metal as I can as I make this patch panel.
All right, you can see I've got this thing pretty close now. So here's my template. And it'll need a little bit of trimming. But it's about here. I'll probably cut this a little bit shallower so I can get some weld in there and grind it off okay. And then this will be a, a, a butt weld up along here. And then actually it'll all be a butt weld, I suppose. And then these will be spot welds. So once I make this flange, I'll drill out some holes and um, I'll be able to weld this into the side before I finish with this inner piece. Then of course I've got to do the bottom. But for now, this looks pretty good. Let's take it over to the door and see if I can mark out the door for a good spot to cut. So what I typically like to do in this situation is I kind of like to look around and see if there's any spots that I can, I can use kind of an existing um, flange. You can see right here, I've already got a, um, a lip here, so I don't need to, to bend this if I don't want to, because it's already there as far as the flange goes, which is nice. I don't have to use any kind of metal brake. So I might be able to get away with something like this. And if not, I can look at other places on the door and see if there's a spot maybe like right here that might fit over as well. That might work maybe a little bit better because of how this thing's uh, kind of gonna be bent in an S shape. But generally what I'll do is I'll just kind of find a spot in the door and then cut out a piece of metal, obviously do all the proper grinding to prepare it for welding. And, uh, and then I'm good to go. In fact, I'm looking here, I think I'm gonna use this. I think I'm gonna use this part here. So I'm gonna get as far as I can over to this corner so this should take care of what I need on the door. This looks like a pretty good fit. So I'm gonna mark this out with my Sharpie. Um, I'm actually probably gonna grind it first, then mark it with my Sharpie. Uh, so I have nice clean metal to work with. So I don't have to grind it after it's off the door. It's a little bit easier to grind on the door. All right, here's our patch panel. I think it looks pretty good. It fits this way. And that's what it's like on the car. So what I'll do now is I'm just gonna do a quick trace around the panel. Um, and then I'll basically cut the, cut the sheet metal of the car to match the panel. And it should be good to go. Should be ready to weld. All right, dudes. After about 30 minutes of twiddling, this is where I'm at. So I like the gap here, I like the gap down here. Um, I'm gonna have to hit this with a body hammer a little bit just to, to make it flush with this, but it looks pretty good. Uh, my next step is I'm gonna drill a couple of spot weld holes here. And what I may do is I might put like, I might start by welding one uh, spot weld in here and then actually remove this panel body work this thing so it's flush and then do another couple of uh, spot welds before I fully install this because this is going to have to be drilled out as well but I really want to double check and make sure that my um, quarter panel fits 
So, and again, I don't have any gas for my welder, so I'm gonna be doing a flux core weld on this, which is probably gonna be a little ugly, but it's invisible anyway. Remember that the, the, uh, the quarter panel goes on top of this. So I'm not super worried about how it looks. I'm mostly concerned about making sure that these surfaces are totally flat and that the, um, that the uh, quarter panel can fit well uh, against them. So I want to really make sure this, this stuff is all really flush before I do anything. Uh, so that's where we're at. So far, so good. All right, so I've got spot welds completely drilled on both pieces that I need. So here we are there. This just needs four for the flange and then this whole thing needs to be spot welded. Obviously I will hit the back of this with my sander again, clean it all up and then before I weld it, I'll do a fresh grind of this edge so it's completely clean and ready to rock for welding. But I've realized as I've been going through this that I've got to do something else before I do any of this. and. That same uh, inner rocker, I guess it's the outer rocker, needs a bottom patch panel where it's rusted. And I'm actually gonna need to get into the inside to, to weld this piece on. So, meaning like, I can't get to this bottom half because there's a, a rocker in, the, in between, right? So, before I weld this piece on and close the top up, I need to do the bottom half then I need to do this thing and weld it on the inside. Then I can tack this thing over the top and it should work. Let's see how this, how does this go? It goes like that. So I gotta do things in a certain order to make this thing work. And um, that means now I've gotta do that bottom patch panel before I do anything else. I was kinda hoping to do that tomorrow, but there's actually no way to do any of this stuff without doing that first. So let's go do that part. So this is the offending piece, which is the bottom half of this same rocker. So what I'm going to do is just kind of trace a line uh, around here. It's going to use this line as the weld line. And then, I don't know, I think I might, I may just do the whole bottom half. I might just kind of do it to here and cruise up and just not worry about it, you know? Just completely weld, uh, grab this whole chunk from... Uh, I might just grab this whole chunk from here all the way to there and then cut across. Although this stuff is all gone now. I, I'm feeling like I may be able to actually just get away with, um, maybe I'll try that before I do anything else. I might try to drop some weld right in here because it's already cleaned and completely uh, rust removed. So this is actually pretty clean metal. I may see if I can do that. And if that's the case, then I just need to do a little patch here and that would be fine. So I just realized something. If I cut this entire section out here, there's gonna be really no support. This thing's just gonna be sitting by itself. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually just gonna tack this new piece in a couple of spots, like right here and right here and right here, just to offer some support of the, the entire unit. So then I can cut the stuff out. When I'm done, I'll, I'll, un, I'll undo it. But for now, I think I just need a little bit of uh, support. So I'm going to tack this together real quick. All right, so this thing's just really three quick little tacks on here. And that's going to be enough just to hold the thing up. I'm discovering, though, that this stuff is really thin. Um, my replacement panel, I don't even think it's a millimeter thick, and I thought it was. So it's going to be a little tricky to weld but hopefully it's okay. I think maybe I need to get the metal from the door skin instead of the inside of the door. But uh, yeah, we'll soon find out how that all works. Nevertheless, I'm gonna work on this big chunker doodle here and um, let's see if we can get some progress tonight. So this procedure, by the way, is, is exactly the same. I'm gonna just trace out 
the part that I want to cut. I'm going to use a cardboard template. I'm going to cut the whole thing out and then, um, yeah, weld it on in. So I'll be back when it comes time to weld. All right, so here's where we are. Now off camera, as you guys can see, I fabricated another panel for the bottom part of the rocker. The problem with it is, and actually it was going really well, and I knew I was gonna get a little bit of burn through. Just to remind you guys, I didn't have a, um, I'm using a flux core welder, so I don't have any MIG gas. I don't have any shielded gas. And the thing is with flux core is it's hotter. It burns hotter than a, a regular MIG spark, apparently, that's what I'm told. The, the metal is so thin on the bottom part of that rocker that I could literally not even touch it without burning through. And I spent hours today grinding and like trying to fill in every single hole. Finally, after a couple of hours, I thought this is like, this is bonkers. This is way too much work to just fill in a little patch panel. So I'm to the point where I have to finally go get some MIG gas if I'm gonna move forward. I needed to do it anyway, it's fine. Um, it was a little weird right now just because of what's going on with society and, and um, but nevertheless, I'll get it. The other part was the rear panel, like I think if you're doing stuff under the car or if you're doing um, welding that's not gonna be seen and or is in an area that has thicker metal, use flux core all day long. Like I would do that all day long, but I tried to do some stuff on my roof and it was really thin and, and kind of blew right through. And by the way, it was the factory sheet metal that was blowing through, not my patch panel. So anyway, got to get the MIG welder. And then I also have to figure out what's going on with the rear deck here, the, this rear area. It looks like it's like a half an inch wider. Um, my piece, my replacement piece looks like it's like a half an inch wider. So I've got to figure that stuff out. I just thought overall, it was a good time to stop this. I made two great patch panels for the car. I melted the lead filler. I've done a bunch of stuff I've never done before. And actually looking at the panel, it's gonna be great. Like it's gonna work really well. I just need some slightly cooler welds, I think, to be able to pull it off. So with that, thank you guys for watching. And uh, next time I see you, hopefully I'll have some gas for this puppy and we'll finish up this whole side.